Okay, so for a while now I've kind of been thinking about uh, some pretty big, decent changes to the way that I do ministry. And the term that I came up with is guerrilla gospel. And it comes from the term guerrilla warfare, which was a hit and run strategy where you would get in, do some damage, and get out. And really that's what I've wanted to do for a while, which is why I went from preaching longer, hour-long sermons to preaching closer to half-hour sermons, because I think it's hard to pay attention to somebody talking for a long period of time. I mean, it, it, it just is. Even if it's interesting, even if it's something that you really care about, even if it's something uh, as important as the gospel. So that's why I kind of moved away from traditional church because I think, uh, really, traditional church can be kind of stale. It can be, you know, the tradition of men. I don't want to meet just to meet. I don't want to do things just to do things. I want to have something meaningful, something purposeful, something uh, passionate. And this is what I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about getting the Word of God out there in a way that it can be easily digested. You know, uh, the gospel has been known as the meat and the milk, but sometimes you have to make it bite-sized. Sometimes you have to make it, you know, I still want to give people something to chew on. I still want to give people something that is, uh, you know, fulfilling. It'll satisfy you, but I want to make it, I don't want to choke people. I don't want to be too high where it's hard to understand. I don't want to be too deep where it doesn't mean anything in 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 real life. So I want to hit it right in that sweet spot right in the middle. I want to hit people right in the heart because that's what the gospel is. It's it's a, a never-ending lifelong journey into the heart of the matter, which is the heart of God beating in our chests. So I want to make something that is very easily accessible. That's why when I started my own ministry, I called it Word Without Walls. I wanted it to be the Word, and I didn't want there to be any walls. I didn't want there to be any religious uh, expectations. I didn't want there to be any kind of like, uh, I didn't want there to be anything stopping anybody from getting this Word of Life. That's what we need. We need life. That's what Jesus came to give us, life, and that more abundantly. So, with this uh, new idea, this new change, rather than meeting every week and having a church service, I want to do a guerrilla gospel. I want to do shorter, even shorter, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I don't want to put a limit on it. I want to be flexible. I want to be free. I want to be open to get in, say what I have to say, get out. Maybe one verse, you know, maybe one idea. Not necessarily the same time every week, not necessarily the same day every week. You know, maybe I'll do one from my car if I'm waiting for something to happen. I don't know. You know, I, I just want to be able to, to, to take what's in my heart and get it out and put it out there so people can hopefully be able to get a, a, a better understanding of who God is. Because I think our whole conception of God is really messed up. I think, bottom line, God is love. I think we have this idea of God as some, like, angry, distant taskmaster who, who, who says, you have to do this or else, or says, you can't do this or else. And we live in fear of him, of our Heavenly Father, which is, is I think, the best picture of God is our Heavenly Father. And uh, we know that through the Son. And that's who God is. He's Jesus. He's God in the flesh. He's love in a body. He's God in our flesh. He's love in our body. When Jesus showed us the Father, he showed us uh, a human being who loved other human beings. And that's what I think our concept of God needs to be. That's where we need to start. And uh, as far as preaching the gospel, it's just just showing people love just you know letting what's in your heart come out by filling yourself to overflowing 
with what God put in there. Which, of course, if God put it in there, it's love. And, and again, that's the whole point of, of the whole deal. So with this new, uh, kind of new ministry, as it were, with this big change that we're making to go smaller, as it were, I want to just be able to uh, take what's in my heart and let it out. Take what's in my heart and just say, uh, you know, here's what I was thinking about today. And I don't want to necessarily have a bunch of scripture. Uh, I, I think, especially with some of the translations we have, the scripture can be really confusing and it can, it can really hold people back from understanding. Sometimes we lose the, the simpleness of Christ when we're trying to figure out, first we're trying to figure out what the King James English says, and then we're trying to figure out what the writers were trying to say, and it's too much trying to figure it out. Even the Amplified, I love the Amplified Bible, but I think sometimes when you try to just read it, it's too wordy, it's too much, it's too dense, it's too thick. And I don't want anything to hold people back from the freedom and the life that is in the Word of God. And again, of course, you know, the Word of God is Jesus. He is the Word. And, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and now the word dwells within us and the word is made flesh whenever we act in love which is you know again charity charity is love in action so all I want to do with with this new GG you know I love alliteration www word without laws GG gorilla gospel is I want to be able to put it out there simply, put it out there easily, put it out there quickly, hit and run, get in, get out. Uh, I don't want to be bogged down. I don't want to uh, have people say, oh, 30 minutes for a sermon. All right, how about 10 minutes? How about 15 minutes? How about shorter, bite-sized bits of good news? Because I think we need good news. I think there's a lot of doom and gloom, and, and it's easy to find. But I'm not into that. Uh, my God is a happy God, and he's happy because he got what he always wanted, which was us. And he got us on the cross when, when he wrapped himself in human flesh, and he, he was lifted up from the earth, and he drew us all into himself. And, and he said, you know, all throughout the Old Testament, God said, I want to be your God, and I want you to be my people. And that's what happened on the cross. We began to see him as he truly is. We begin to see ourselves as we truly are. We begin to see him as father. We begin to see ourselves as sons. And now that we can see, now that the light is shining, you know, God said, let there be light. Now that the light is shining and we can see who he really is and see who we really are, we can be who we really are because seeing is believing and what you see is what you be. And, you know, I believe that, that what is inside will come out when you know it's inside, when you believe it's inside. And again, that's my whole point with this is, this is what's inside of me right now. I want to be able to get this word out. I want to be able to have people say, oh, all right, God loves me. Oh, all right, because God loves me, I can love him by loving other people. That's my prayer every night with my son is, Father God, thank you for loving me so that I can love you and I can love others, so that I can love you by loving others, so that I can take this gift that you've given me and I can share it. I can, I can spread it out there. I can give it away. And I don't have to be afraid of losing it because perfect love casts out fear. We don't have to be afraid of, of losing what we've got because we're connected to the unlimited source of love. The God who is love lives inside of us. And that's what it means to live. To live is to love, and to love is to live. So, uh, that's where I'm at right now. That's, this is what I want to do. And, and I hope this is going to hit some people. I, you know, I would appreciate some feedback on this. Uh, if you go to jesusrant.com, my contact information is on there. Uh, shoot me an email, leave a comment, whatever you want to do. Because we're in this together, and and if this if this doesn't work, we'll try something else. Because we're flexible, you know. We're not fluffed and buffed. We're not polished. 
we're real and we're raw and I'm just trying to figure out the best way to get what's in my heart out so that other people can can you know have it too experience it so uh, we're at about 10 minutes now and and I think that's pretty good for the intro so uh, okay uh, hit me up leave me some feedback let me know this is uh, this is what I hope to do at least for the foreseeable future word without walls ww w gorilla gospel gg all right amen